Goku's for everybody! Let's talk about it! Welcome to the gas again. Yeah, so glad you are by. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Pumples out, joys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell a boss, we are together. Yes. 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 Okay, Goku's for everybody, but also nobody. They stocked the shelves full of these Gokus. Did you see them? Yeah. There were so many. They were allowing three per person in a lot of stores. What? Yes, and they were selling out. People were looking for them all day today. Well, they definitely sold out online because I clicked the link just to see what was going on. 30 minutes after they were posted up online, they were gone. People really love Dragon Balls. Do you like dragons? I was thinking about dragging my across your face later. Yeah, it's not. Z! Super! You know what we forgot, though? What? Goku is from Dragon Ball, which is... Okay, that's cool. Come on, just do it for the old... Come on, do it for the team. So according to this, stores could have up to 108 of this Funko Pop in their store. So just imagine how many of these Funko Pops there are. A lot. So Brian W. in the Gasselcast We Hunt Together group on Facebook, if you're not there, you should totally go and join, posted a photo of an entire wall of the Gokus. But this is proof of how many were packed in these stores today. I'm not a huge Dragon Ball fan, but this thing is so f over the top. Look at the glow in this thing. It's really cool. I wonder if that glow is any good. Red never glows well. Blue isn't bad, but red looks like sh If you missed out on this today, I wouldn't be upset about it because I'm sure they made 50 billion with the amount that they put in stores today. But shame on you people who ran around buying these Funko Pops only to put up on Macari or eBay. How, how much do you want to guess? $30. 30, 31, 45, 40, 29, 160. That's gonna be sitting for a while, you dumb piece of But it looks like they've been selling for right around 30 bucks. Wow, so. how'd I guess? I'm so smart. See, I have intuition. That was really weird. I know, why that's did you do why that? I did it. Speaking of Funko Pop showing up in stores, how about the Maleficent? This was also posted by Dish Trackers. He mentions that these Funko Pops are hitting stores right now, and it's the same Funko Pop that's packed in with the t-shirt. And these are street dated for the 19th of February. Oh. So they're hitting stores way early, baby, and I don't know why. Some Target employee is putting them out early. Yeah, and some people walk up, they grab their their Target Con Funko Pop that's not supposed to sell yet. They grab another Funko Pop, they scan it, and then they walk out the door with the other one. Of course they do, and there's so many people in the community that don't think that's wrong, but it f inventory and stuff. And you know one thing about the gas cast? Very, very concerned about Target inventory. We care. We do. It's really important, honestly, you're probably making the jobs harder of all those poor people that have to stock all the shelves. F you for f***ing up Target's inventory! You know, like, probably all of our viewers have done that, right? They're doing it right now. They're watching us at Target as they scan the f***ing Funko Pop. Probably. Before we go any further, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button. It helps the channel out in a really big way. And head over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash gasocast. You can support the channel and get some really cool perks in return. So check it out at patreon.com slash gasocast. Before we get into the rest of the video, I just wanted to remind you that Funko Fair starts tomorrow, which is Wednesday, January 18th. And it happens for the next like two Wednesdays after that. They're doing it a little bit different this year. I love like this idea. So basically what Funko Fair is, they announce things and then retailers sell them. And my favorite retailer, Poppin' Off Toys. And you can head over there and use promo code GASOCAST for 10% off your entire order for Funko Fair. It's gonna be so awesome. I saw a little sneak peek of the list and it looks awesome. So oh, make yeah. sure that you stay tuned and take a look at all the Funko Fair stuff and buy what you want at poppinofftoys.com. Get your 10% off with promo code GASOCAST. Oh yeah. All right, let's take a pause on all this Funko news. Let's open up a couple of Funko sodas, Heather. We have some Juggernaut 3 liters. No, hand me one. You got one right next to you. 
I want you to hand me that one. Why am I handing you this one? Well, then you're gonna come over here and get this one. I'm just feeling really lazy. Can you, you hand that to me? I wanna open that one. Why? Okay, I'll open this one. Why do you wanna open this? No, 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 now you're making me fed up. What do you mean? I just wanna- I have never one. pulled a chase on these, so I really wanna pull a chase, so do you feel like you're lucky enough to open this and get a chase? Is that what you're telling me? I don't know. I sort of feel like there's a reason. <sighs> I, I feel like there's a reason I want to open that. I don't know if it's the chase or if I'm giving you the chase or if we both have f***ing commas. We both uh, probably have commas. I got screwed on my Hulk three liter sodas. And we actually discussed that in yesterday's video. So make sure you go back and watch it if you haven't already. How much have you spent on these so far? Uh, we're like up to $240 or something. You know you could have bought like I could have bought the chase already, yes. No? Why did you want to open that one? Again? Ah, remember when I told you not to order these and you did it anyway? Oh. You know, if you get mad enough, you could throw this on the floor and make a chase. God. I am never going to get a chase. Ever. When it comes to three liters. Ever. I mean, I'm just, I'm just so unlucky. I don't know how. Okay, you know what? Because uh, we love our viewers so much, we're going to give one of these away to one lucky viewer. So in the comments section, put hashtag Chris is unlucky, and we will select a winner over the next couple of days, and we'll send this out to you. Good luck, because I don't have any. Because it's going here anyway. If you were less angry, you'd have an easier job at doing that. <sighs> All right, let's talk about some other Funko news. I was unlucky again, because today I tried to go for the newest NFT drop. I just wanted a couple packs. I'm just dabbling. You said you didn't want any. I didn't want any. I was just dabbling. I just told you that. And when I went to buy yes. them, I got, I got, what? You have a serious problem. I don't. I had 30 and 35 minute waits and I had no chance to get these packs. They sold out so fast. There weren't that many. There was 24,000 packs. That's a very small count. And way more popular than I ever imagined. A lot of people were sh all over this set. But there was a lot of people looking for them today, and they sold out in a Jiffy Pop. I can't believe you said Jiffy Pop. I'm saying Jiffy Pop. It's part of my new lingo. Everybody that has a TV show, they all have to have a catchphrase. My catchphrase now is going to be Jimmy Pop. You just said Jiffy Pop. Now it's Jimmy Pop? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what my catchphrase is. It's Jiffy Pop. Thank you for helping me with that. Who's Jimmy Pop? You don't know who Jimmy Pop is? No. Jimmy Pop is the lead singer of Bloodhound Gang. That's Iggy mammals. Pop. Iggy Pop? No. Iggy Pop is from Iggy and the Stooges. What? So today's NFT drop was the Sid and Marty Croft drop. And there were some really cool Funko Pops in the mix of all this. And I feel like, honest to God, I think that these are going to be super popular Funko Pops when they actually hit the streets. I really like that spider one. The spider's very cool. The grail is kind of cool as well. What was the grail? It's the guy with the hat and he has the nose. He's okay. He's sort of nightmare fuel. But the Freddy in this set is really cool. Lizard creature thing. Oh yeah, Slee Stack. He's a Slee Stack from uh, Land, Land Before, no, not Land Before. Land of no. the Lost. Land of the Lost. I don't know anything. Me neither. I don't know who Iggy Pop is. The Sid and Marty Croft set isn't bad at all. It's probably better that I didn't get involved with this one. I would have spent way too much money. You saw how much I spent on the juggernauts. I can get shit. That seems to be a theme with you. My luck has been horrible lately. Have you noticed that? It always is. They didn't send me a Hulk, but Juggernauts, they're Juggernauts. I missed out on the drop today, and then the retro drop that happened last for the NFTs didn't get Today it was announced that there's a Minnie Mouse 
crystal Funko Pop that looks like Swarovski Crystal for the 100th year anniversary of Disney. Can you say that word again? Swarovski Crystal? Wow, I like that. What? What do you mean? That's how it's said, right? Swarovski. See, I told you. My luck's horrible. I can't even talk. No, that's not your luck. That's just your stupidity. All right, so you're probably expecting me to call this Minnie Mouse Funko Pop trash. I actually like this. I know it's going to blow your pants off, but I like it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, 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 is that a blanket or is that? So what do you think about this mini? I love her. Do you really? Yes! Oh my God, we love it together. Yes, and I don't even really care that much about like Minnie and Mickey and all that yeah. stuff. Like it's cool if you're in Disney World, but outside of that, don't care. Guess what? Care. I a lot. love this thing and it's too bad that they're not making it limited or something But I'm sure they're gonna make 50 billion of them, but I wonder what the price point on this is going to be I don't know what this is made out of. I think it's gonna be just like the butt stallion just with a Metallic finish although the butt stallion sort of had that but it was more of like an opaly finish So what you're saying is this is butt stallion Minnie Mouse Yes Mini the Butt Stallion. So I would assume that they're gonna make a whole line of these Funko Pops. However, we haven't seen these other Funko Pops yet, and I imagine they're gonna be announced at Funko Fair. I feel like she might be sort of a one-off because there's other Disney 100 Pops. Remember the black and white Donald, and I think there's a Mickey and Goofy? That's a good point, but they should really make a whole line of these. They this should. is too good. I love this design. Funko, you get a Check plus, in my opinion, over this one. I'm giving you an A plus because you're too old for the check pluses. Check pluses, they expired in like first grade. You get an A plus. I'm giving you a Mario one up. How about that? You can't top a one up. Little green and white mushroom. I'm giving you that. So that means they did so bad that you have to give them an extra life. I'm giving them an extra wow. life because Listen, no. Listen, Funko, he's insulting you saying that you so I'm giving you one of those stars so you have invincibility. Chance. Oh, so Now they have invincibility. Nobody's going to take them down, not even your dumb A+. Plus. The A+, plus was taking them up. You know where it was taking them up? My was... butt. Exactly. Good. That's where they want to be. Last but not least, Wednesday from Hot Topic. A discussion that we had just last week about this Funko Pop originally being a diamond edition, but it became metallic. And it turns out that the Funko Pop that was originally ordered as a diamond edition is showing up in people's homes as a metallic, just as we mentioned. Mm. Mm. So, does that mean Diamond Edition is completely out the window and we're not getting it at all? Your guess is as good as mine. So, are we going to say this one's trash or what? What do you want to say to this? It looks stupid. Really? People are going crazy. People are seriously excited about this Funko Pop. I'd have to see it out of box, I think, but I just don't like the look of it. Like, I would have preferred Diamond, but really, like, the common's fine. Mine arrived metallic, although I had pre-ordered a Diamond one. Just saw my email and sadly got canceled order. There's something missing. They're the diamond sticker. There's something missing there, the diamond sticker. I told you I can't read. Wish they kept it diamond instead of metallic. And then people were, a lot of people were saying theirs were canceled, pre-order canceled. So it seems like, uh, based off what I'm reading, a lot of people are excited about this. Good. There you go, Heather hates it, you love it. What do you think about that? It's dumb, but you do you, boo. I think it's just fine. I have no problem with this Funko Pop, but I would like to see a Diamond Edition at some point. I would like to see you shut up. You know what I really want to see is a Wednesday and Enid movie moment. They have the circular stained glass in their bedroom. Wednesday's is like all black. Enid's is color. She's really colorful. She's got the colorful hair and the outfits and Wednesday is like black and white basically. I'm just waiting on a Wednesday Funko Pop of her dancing. You know what's coming. So what do you think about all that Funko news? And what do you think about me not pulling a Chase Juggernaut? Juggernaut. It's a bunch of bullshit. Ain't it? But hey, guess what? There's going to be a lucky winner. So make sure you use hashtag, what is it? Chris is unlucky? Chris is unlucky. Hashtag Chris sucks. No, hashtag no, 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 no. Chris Heather's is my favorite. No, no, Hashtag, no. hashtag. Hashtag Chris is unlucky to win yourself a juggernaut. Hashtag Chris is a motherfucky. You're such a douche. <laughs>
Let us know all that and more in the comment section down. Don't give me that I love you. Sam. I love you. Let me know all, let us know, let us know all that and more in the comment section down below. Close your eyes and I'll give you a kiss. No, you're gonna Why? put your butt on my mouth and I would fart. never put my butt up there. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patients from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Shroop Farm Pops, Pablo Perez, Sean Neal, Craig Matthews, Mac the Ball, Celeste Crawford, Josh Schwan, Shane Turner, Nikki Papadop, and Frank Gast. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you for staying until the very end of the video. And patrons, again, we appreciate all of your support. You are amazing. Remember, as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.